what I'm wearing this week that's coming up. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. And if you enjoy my what I wear during the week, consider subscribing and let's get started. Oh, tones of browns I'm wearing today and a thick woolly, woolly cardigan. Oh, it's cold. Um, I'll be wearing gloves as well, my nice furry chocolate coloured gloves. So what I am wearing is a top, it's very old, and also the pants. Um, but I thought I'd just air them, take them out of my wardrobe and finally give them another viewing since it's been a while, a long while. Um, so yeah, so it is a simple, yeah, straightforward top. It's just straight, very busy with the print. Uh, a black collar and I was trying to decide whether to wear my love heart chocolate coloured um, necklace that I'm always wearing but I wore that last week so I chose to go with this. I was trying to wear them both at the same time because like no poly, make a choice. So I made a choice for this one. I know I've covered it with my collar but um, I just think it looks nice. Yeah that I am actually doing that. So yeah, so I've got these gathered sleeve, which is slightly off the shoulder. Yeah, just me experimenting. <laughs> and I've got a half tuck, so I put the front of the bra, yeah, the blouse top into my pants, um, which uh, got hip pockets and a flat front and a tuck. And they're three quarter length as well, so I've got brown and boots on. So yes, so it is cold and I'm going to put my cardigan on. So I'm going for this one. No, you wouldn't have seen this before. So yeah, nice heavy, big raw cardigan. Oh, oh that feels nice, it feels all snuggly and warm and cozy. And I'm going to be Actually, before I do that, I should show you my top and my pants, shouldn't I? Yeah, just give you a quick model before I start putting on my cardigan. So I'm wearing a chocolate coloured polar neck, deep chocolate, and there's my necklace, the colours covering it, and three quarter length sleeves so that you can just see my cardigan underneath. And it's not tucked in at the back, tucked in at the front. They've got hip pockets. Too tight. There we go. 
do there. Nothing to close. I've gonna just got it edge to edge, it's like it's touching. Maybe we should wear a scarf. Hmm. Next time, eh? So, yep. Yeah. Let's gather it the front, so it's kind of playing up the front, not too much gathers. And then pull the gathers towards the back, like so. Gloves. The other one. Yes, feeling really nice and snug and warm now. And my bag. Like that. Oh, down here. Come on. Yeah, I think it's going to be held in my hand. So you can see my necklace on the show. And yeah, so that's what I'm wearing today. And today's outfit is another old garment, quite an old top. I'm wearing a polo neck. I'm sporting polo necks at the moment, but all the time. Um, so yeah. Especially your neck. So I, I do think I've worn this before as part of my spring summer. And if I have, I'll put a, a picture in somewhere. Um because I want to make sure that when I do my um outfits that I'm wearing, I'm trying to transition them into autumn and winter, but it means you know layering up with polonets and cardigans and jackets and so forth. So I am layering this up with a polo neck, but I usually just wear it without. It's, and I did make it to be worn in the spring summertime. So I've got a nice bow, which goes off to one side like so. The only piece of jewelry I've got is this bangle here. I just wanted to keep my look kind of neutral and free from jewelry, with the exception of my bangle. I'm wearing a pencil skirt with a back bend. Yes, I made the pencil skirt as well as the top. I'll give you a closer view of my own. Um, so. Is it hard to what's happening here? I love all this sort of thing. It's it's my it's my, it's my style. Boots. Knee high boots. Yeah, I do have a small collection of boots. She needs the country that um, has all these different seasons that are happening. And I'm going to be wearing the same cardigan that I wore yesterday because it's nice and snuggly and warm. Today's outfit is red and black on the top and I've got hints of red and black below. The pants is what I have designed, drafted and made and they are kind of like a, a low crutch baggy kind of the pants which I'll show you in a moment. So the knitwear is a black polo neck and a red 
jumper and I belted it in and I'm wearing some black necklace. I forgot to put my black rings on to do that. And yeah, so a very simple sleep outfit today. Um, I will be wearing my gloves, black gloves, and my black booted leather coat. So I'll show you what I'm wearing now before I put my coat on. So here are my pants. So they are a check, love checks. They do that grey um, black and red that's running through here. Hip pockets. Fly front fastening and just fold the area for that. They're fully lined. No wearing boots, knee high boots. just to tie it all in. There we go, and the bag I'm going for is going to be this rucksack or backpack, which I need today. Keep my hands free. I do not like backpacks. I really do. I've, I've had a few in, in my lifetime. Um, I think they're very functional, very, very functional. Um, bags. We should make them a lot more available, I think. I know we can get them a lot more on the, on the internet, online. But yeah, that's my bag. And that is my outfit for today. Good morning. It's a grey day and I'm talking about my outfit. Um, I'm wearing all grey and it's knitwear. So I've only made my pants and I've seen those before. So what I am wearing is like a little sleeveless top, silvery sparkly top. And I'm doing a double thing again with the cardigans. So I've got a cardigan that is buttoned up and, and that's quite short. And I've belted that and I've got my longer grey cardigan. I have worn this last week, yeah. So I'm doing a lot of wearing of my clothing, which is brilliant. And yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. I did have a bit of a dilemma though. I was gonna go for a grey bag. I had to have all grey, including my footwear, my jewellery, and uh, that. that's grey and sparkly and silvery and just picks up the sparkling in my scarf and my top and my trainers, my trainers today. Uh, they're grey. Yeah. I'm not totally all grey actually because I'm wearing a leather coat skin today. <laughs> but my dilemma is the handbag. I was gonna go for this grey bag. Um, it's very old, I've had it for quite like a long time, but it just wasn't sitting right, so I was like, should I or should I not? And it's like Oh, Colin, make your mind up. I went, oh, I'll just go with the bag that I wore yesterday. <laughs> I was making my mind up. Because <laughs> time is off the essence, so uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm just sticking with the same coat, the same bag that I wore yesterday. Grey gloves. See, I've even got grey gloves. See, told you it was a grey day. Absolutely grey day. Grey gloves. Grey gloves. Excuse me. There's no grey gloves. But I will be wearing a ring though. The thing is, when you're wearing gloves, you can't wear rings. So I'm going to put my ring in my bag. So I'm going for a sparkly ring. Very sparkly ring. And yeah, I can't wear my ring with my gloves. So yeah, I have to take that off and put it into my bag because it's important to keep my hands nice and warm. And I'm gonna go for the 
we love like the coat but i'll show you that in a moment once you see what it looks like so i'm giving you a close of my sparkly scarf and my sparkly top and yeah i'm pulling in the sparkliness from the buttons the buttons are like Oh, obviously the one before was <laughs> diamonds, <laughs> diamond buttons. Yes, Colleen, yeah, right. Um, so yeah, and I've got my silver belt on and I've kept my top out. I'm kind of doing the leathering, the layering thing and a longer gray cardigan, these gray bootleg pants and I'm wearing new trainers today. I'll tell you a story about my, my footwear um, soon. So, yeah. All ready to go. So, that my, this is my outfit for today. So, yeah, today is just um, knitwear again. Uh, I haven't made anything that I'm wearing, and my peak skirt and each piece that I'm wearing you've seen before. So I have actually restyled um, these out, these garments with other outfits. So you've seen this polar neck, this jewel polar neck. And I've got my long cardigan, coat cardigan on, and my sun rain pleated skirt. Um, but I do have interesting footwear and interesting stockings on <laughs> my um, legs. I just thought I'd have a bit of form with it, but also um, it's about comfortability as well. Um, so yeah, so it's just a very simple outfit. And I belted it in at the waist with a belt. I'm wearing a necklace and silver earrings. And yeah, that's it. I'll be wearing my scarf and my ring, which I'll put on at some point because I'm wearing my gloves. And when you're wearing big chunky rings, uh, the two don't go. And I'm wearing my vintage leather coat. Um, but I do have, um, I do want to ask you, ask something of you, which is a question that's been asked of me by a couple of subscribers, and it has to do with my handbags or purses. Now, um, they, they wanted to more or less know is how do I manage to change on a daily basis my handbag and my contents from one bag to another, especially if it's a bigger bag and down to a smaller bag. I'm not a person who carries everything with me. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think I ever have done. I, the most important things for me when I'm carrying my bags, and it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm doing this so that I can have a different bag every day, more or less. Um, it's just, I don't know really. Um, it's just habit. The things that I need are going to be my car keys and my house keys, and they're just on one um, keychain my purse of course and my lipstick that's it I don't wear I don't I've never had one of those big chunky makeup bags I'm not a lover of makeup so the only thing I really wear is mascara and lipstick maybe and um, underline and pencil but yeah that is mainly what I carry my bags tend to be bigger on, on during the winter time because I do carry tissues and um, and my car is an extension of my handbag is how I like to um, describe it and that's probably my little secret to being able to take all my contents from one bag to another is that I have spare sunglasses, tissues, bottle of water, um, a lipstick that's always in my car and yeah that's about it. Uh, a notepad is in my car and sometimes I carry a notepad in my bag. If I need to carry a bigger notepad with me, then my bag just gets bigger, and, and that would be the case this week as well. But the reason why I've, um, I've had a big rucksack, um, and I've got that today, and that's because I'm just being a bit lazy about changing it to another bag. <laughs> um, but there tends to be a purpose to the reasons why my bags are a bit more small, and it really is just about the fact that if I don't need to bring a lot of things with me, then I'll go for a smaller bag. 
and yeah, and that's really my secret to changing from one bag to another. But I always have to make sure that I've got my card with me, my phone and my keys. Those are the three things. If I can fit them into any bag, um, I'm happy. And if that bag is a big bag and they're jingling at the bottom, I'm fine. <laughs> For me, the security is having those, those particular items. So going back to what I am wearing, um, it's my leather coat, so I'll just get myself dressed. So I've got my leather and vintage coat. Like so. Here out the way. And my scarf. And I need to see. Yeah. Like that. And I'm going to put my ring in my bag. Because I'm going to put my gloves on. Oh, you may have seen. Um, I was going to take this off, this plaster. I've got a plaster on my finger and I wanted to take it off before I did my video and I totally forgot. The reason why I have a plaster on my finger is not because I've chopped it with a knife or anything like that. Um, one of the things is uh, I have long nails and I make no effort to grow my nails. It's just natural. It just grows that way. The, I've got hands like my, like my dad, like my father. And um, my nail yesterday is split. Oh, I don't know. Should I show you? I'll quickly show you. Split along there, so I had to cut it. But I've got to wait about three weeks before my nail grows out, so that it feels a lot comfortable. I don't want to catch it on anything um, because it will just tear, and it's very, very painful when it does. Um, so yeah, so that's the reason why I've got plaster on my finger. There's my gloves. And this is a bag that I will be sporting today. And I'm going to pop my ring in the back section there and tip it up. So I'll show you my footwear. <laughs> I, I, I feel, yeah, I'm going to put I'm going to show you my footwear. I feel a little bit uneasy about it because I haven't worn this down for a long time um but yeah i'm gonna show you anyway on side <laughs> okay here goes so yes i belted it in it's kind of edged it well a little bit part and my scarf is acting like an extended collar which i like and this is my summer beauty skirt yeah, this is my footwear <laughs> It's usually quite comfortable but my tights. <laughs> um, I did change it about three times. I, got three. I was going to wear some over the knee socks and a different pair, a black pair of um, tights but they just say no clean. So I opted for these ones. So that's my footwear. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and please do share. If you have any questions you want to ask me, please put those in the comment box below. And the question I want to ask you to this week is, because I haven't got a tip to share, is what do you have in your handbag and do you change your handbag on a daily or every other day or every other week? Just let me know and put that in the comments below and I will see you next time.